Uh, hello, guys. Uh, it's a big day for us today. It's the first birthday of ABT Masterclass. And of course, the inception of our online school, the first idea came to us long ago, but it was on October the 12th last year that our courses, our first courses went uh, live. So it's a big day for us today, big cause for celebration. I'm hoping for some drinks later on. And we decided to sit together and have a chat about this last year. Uh, what changed, what we learned, what were, were the most interesting experiences. And perhaps we could start by talking about the reasons we had for starting this initiative. So I guess the first idea was to bring closer the audiovisual translation to those who know little about it or who don't know about it yet, right? But also empower to succeed, oh, this way, <laughs> empower to succeed those um, who are already in the industry and would like to learn more or would like to improve their skills um, or would like to become more fluent in what they are doing or speed up their, um, their workflows. Uh, so uh, I think this was the main reason behind it. I can't believe it's been a year, uh, to be honest. Uh, and I think everybody has uh, their own different reasons and they just came together uh, very nicely. Uh, for me, I think on a personal level, uh, I don't know, I've been teaching <laughs> for so many years. I've got teaching in my in my genes, I think. And uh, so, and I was, I was teaching, you know, uh, those small groups, 20 students or so. And I was thinking, you know, uh, I have uh, I have this passion. I could I could teach more <laughs> people. I could teach uh, more students, you know, to share uh, the passion and spread the the, the world, uh, the the word. And uh, also, um, when you think about that, it was uh, what 2021. So it was the second year of the pandemic. So we were after all this year, and everybody was working online. So it kind of made sense to. Uh, look more into into online education with so many people getting used to this type of, um, of work, right? So I think this, this uh, had a big impact as well. Uh, for me, I remember this experience of running courses uh, at universities and having so many bright and talented students. And many of them uh, did want to have a career in localization and individual translation. But very often they were unable to find the right jobs and they ended up having careers in other industries. And then uh, I moved to working at companies and recruiting people. And I found how hard it is to recruit the right people, to find the people with the right skills, and how much time and money companies lose in trying to find those people. So I realized this disconnect between us at Academia producing uh, bright graduates and companies somehow not, not reaching them. And then people who are reached by companies and don't have the right skills, the right training. So I thought now is the time for some innovation and for giving people the power to get trained online, wherever they are, and uh, be able to reach their own career goals this way. Yeah, and considering there's this uh, great demand for artificial uh, translators uh, right there, right, especially uh, right now, uh, in the pandemic. And I think we're sort of coming in between the academia, because when we think about that, where can you learn how to become an audiovisual uh, translator? You can uh, take some uh, university courses, but there's never enough time, right? There's just several hours of training. There's never enough to go deeper. So there's uh, university training on the one hand, and there is um, in-company training, but then companies are uh, not educational institutions institutions, right? So of course, there's some onboarding and some training, but perhaps, you know, there's a little bit of, I don't know, this and that missing. So I think we nicely fill in this uh, gap. We can uh, go deeper. We are free to set the curriculum that answers uh, very pertinent uh, questions, hopefully. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, we can get the, the right balance of theory and uh, hands-on training. That's mm. actually a very good point, because during many events and conferences, right, and there was uh, this topic that there we need a bridge, right, between industry and academia. And I think we are part of that bridge now. We're actually um, building it ourselves, kind of, of course. Mm. Uh, exactly. And then there's also this idea that uh, my experience of, of working in the, in the industry is that it's not that you get trained once and then you know everything forever. Things are changing uh, so much and so fast that we need to keep being trained and getting new skills uh, all the time. Uh, and that can be fun and that can be exciting uh, as well. Actually, one of the uh, things that was surprising for me uh, throughout this whole process of creating ABT Masterclass was that people from all kinds of countries, from all over the world, 
from all sorts of the corners of the globe, they need training and they are looking for it. And some of them have different options. They can go for a university course, but in many places, people don't have that option. And it, being trained online is the only opportunity they have. And they were very happy and very glad to have this option in the form of AVT Masterclass. And uh, of course, we are mostly based uh, in Europe. Uh, uh, our servers are in Canada, but most of our content is recorded in Poland and in Spain. And, and I expected that most of our students would be coming from Europe as well. And something that I found surprising was that actually, yes, we do have lots of students from Europe, but it's actually people from, from Argentina to Australia, uh, from across the globe, uh, from very, very different places. We didn't expect them uh, to come to us to get trained. Uh, and they are here, they need training, and they are very happy to have this opportunity. That's right, and this was also uh, very visible in the uh, free uh, webinars that we were organizing, right? We had to repeat some of them to adjust for different time zones, so thank you uh, everyone who participated uh, in those events. It's always very rewarding for us to uh, meet people and to, to talk to people and try to find out as well, um, you know, what kind of uh, educational needs uh, that people have in different corners of the world. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So the response that we got was uh, pretty surprising, but it was a very positive surprise, right? We felt that this is the product that is indeed needed, right, on the market. And um, this is what people are looking for. So this is something I think we are um, proud of, right, that we uh, came up with this idea and that we can share the knowledge with all the people that, that may need it, right, in any corner um, of the globe. Uh, perhaps a less positive surprise was how much work is involved in online teaching. So I expected this to that this will need a lot of work and a lot of effort, but I could never realize how much work is actually involved. So when I go back to in-person teaching to, to the courses I ran in the past, it was so much less work. Whereas with online teaching, really spent as a team hours of of and hours, and it's really a lot of effort. But the satisfaction of then seeing people from different corners of the globe interacting with this content, appreciating it, and writing us very positive reviews, it's really pays off all the effort that we are putting in. And uh, for me, one of the most memorable experience uh, this year was uh, when we had a chance to interact with our students directly through meetings or our community meetups. And I remember uh, one of the students whose story moved me most was uh, actually Ravi, who was a linguist based in the UK and he now, he now moved to India. And he was absolutely new to translation subtitling. He took uh, our course and he took our other courses. And through this, he trained himself as a subtitler and very quickly he got a job and he's now working as a subtitler and he shared the story with us. And it was like a living proof that the whole idea that we had for ABT Masterclass, that was right, is really working and that our content is actually changing lives it's really helping people so this was very moving for yeah, me yeah you can hear this uh, story uh, online it's available in social media we'll perhaps put it on our youtube as well so uh, you know and those of you who also have uh, those stories uh, feel free to reach out uh, to us it's uh, really the most rewarding uh, thing for us uh, to to hear your positive feedback so we're wishing a very happy birthday to AVT Masterclass and a very good day to all of you, our students, and we hope to be able to keep bringing you good educational content, new skills, new knowledge over the next year. See you online. <laughs>